Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn to use VLOOKUP with multiple criteria. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video. So let's go straight to the situation. In this sheet 8, we have a situation where we have name of students, different subjects and marks obtained by the students in different subjects. Like if you filter for math, we can see maths marks in english maths biology and chemistry now we want the marks of english for math so we can use simple vlookup and select this particular table comma three comma zero which will give us the marks for math but we also need the marks for math biology and chemistry either we can make an unique column by inserting another column and then have the marks of different subjects or we can use simple formula in such kind of situations we have a formula called choose which will help us to get the marks of different subjects in the table let us use that formula so for this use equal to vlookup lookup value is mat freeze the first column which is a 4 so there should be a dollar sign before e then you insert and function and a dash again and and then you select your subject name which is in the first row so freeze the first row that is dollar one comma now you need to use a table array but the table array should be very dynamic because we have four different subjects so we will use the function choose now after choose there is a bracket we open the another bracket and give one Two, three. So these are our selection criteria. So we need three different values, more than three different values. Then you give comma and you select your table. So table is column A, freeze the particular column, then use AND function, insert a dash. Again, you give the AND function, then you select your column B, freeze the column comma again select column c now the most important thing is you need to freeze the column c then your formula is almost over close the bracket comma your column index is 2 because you need values of the different subjects comma to approximate value that is 0 bracket close control shift and enter so you get the first value that is 91. So if I drag the formula or copy the formula to the next column, maths, I should get 81. Let us see, control R, yes, you're getting 81. Let us do it for same, all. So we get the marks of math. Let us now just filter for math and see if the result is coming correct or not. So math is getting 91, 81, 62, 93. All right. So now we can go down and control D to drag the formula. So this is a very simple formula which you can use in your daily life to get things easy. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.